good afternoon all welcome back to my channel welcome back to some more bidding i say more bidding potentially only one bid today and as you can see from the screen it's a 2009 fiat 500 pop now at the moment um my sort of my money is going into that r bath and I'm actually struggling to sell the 2013 quick flip one that you've recently seen on YouTube. Just can't sell that for, it's been up for sale for two weeks now with no one coming to see it. Um, which I'm quite surprised about. I think the Cat S does seem to put a lot of people off. The amount of inquiries I get and then they go, oh, I've just reread your description and it's Cat S. So thanks very much. But anyway, I'm not going to bore you with that. So I'm again looking for some form of quick flip. And today, down at my local Copart yard in Newbury, we've got this Fiat 500 Pop, uh, 2009, on an 09 plate, with 55,000 miles on the clock. And I thought, maybe it's worth a punt. Now, I woke up this morning, and I was reasonably surprised to see that the car is currently uh, one hour, sorry, 1,050. Um, but anyway, we're going into this. It says the primary damage is rear end. So just having a quick look around this, it's got some quite a few added extras for a pop, uh, chrome mirrors and alloys from what I can see. Nothing really too bad on the front, but I expect some form of paint cracking to probably be around the bumper here at some point. It's got this chrome patch that goes uh, down the bonnet, but we don't have the chrome uh, on the bumper. From this side, it looks all right. And that side. So somewhere, I suspect this bumper is going to look at some point the pictures don't say it but th there's a potential that this has got some sort of issue here but it's very difficult to see it's been cleaned so it's been cleaned out so it's not like it's been dumped at the side of the road or anything uh, we've got a remote key so that's good and then as you can see from the inside, it's all looking good. Um, that needs a good clean up, the strap there. The cam belt's probably been done at some point, I don't know when. Um, there's no problems on the dial. But you can see 55,000 on the clock with three quarters of a tank of fuel. Liquid gold, as I describe it these days. Um, yeah, so that's that's really the bumper. So potentially, I'm looking at a reasonably quick flip. I think there might be a slight ding in here, but I'm not 100% sure. But the alloys aren't too bad as well for an 09. And that's it. So I reluctantly don't really want to be paying this kind of money but unfortunately in this day and age that's what it is um mot is due february next year and we have coil springs both rear are corroded and brake discs are pitted um at the front so i'm thinking i might try and win this for a quick flip we've got the v5 as well so potentially this could be clean up and out the door. So we are nine minutes away. For a first car and a cat N, um, we could be looking at selling this for something like two grand or something maybe. But let's just uh, see how we get on. I, I just really hope that this isn't going to go any higher and I can't believe we're going to be ending up in the 1300s or the 1400s on an 09 plate um, pop but we'll see how we get on it is in pretty good nick so 
as I say, there isn't really much work to do, and if if we get it, um, it could literally be up for sale very quickly, um, potentially. But I think I might get the springs replaced at least. But uh, let's see how we get on, and uh, I'll come back to you when this is ready to go. Okay, it's next up. Is this going to go insane, or is this? N- is there going to be time. like no bids, and? I would literally just be able to just go in and just place one bid. It's on a pure sale. Sold on approval. So here we go. New bidder. Pure sale. Twelve hundred. Pure sale. Interesting. Oh, come on, really? Thirteen fifty. I actually think this is an incredible amount of money for an O nine plate pop. This is absolutely insane. I know, don't get me wrong, I I know that car prices are high, but this is a 13 year old car and it's a cat in it's now out the door this is this is two grand Pure at safe. least two grand well over two grand 17 oh, no. Pure safe. bonus time what did I do? I picked up for Christmas. Picked up a Cat N 2010 lounge for just over a grand. Pure sale. I I I don't get it. I really don't get it. Bonus time. Looks like it's going to sell at 17.50. So you're looking at I don't know 2,100 maybe. Bonus time. When it's all in. Pure sale. Unless someone's bought this for like their daughter or something. I don't really know. Sold. Yeah. Okay. Too much money. Far too much. So yeah, we'll leave that for today and Even we'll better. see if there's more to come uh, from anything else. Okay, so we are now on to the 11th of July. And I'm pretty much without a car now, so we need to find something. Uh, I've come across this one. A 2014 lounge uh, up at Chester. Now, uh, it's primary damage is vandalism. And when you run the number plate through, it's still currently shown as stolen uh, on PNC. So that's not too much of an issue because you just can contact the force and um, explain that you've got the car and that they'll be able to remove it or they'll f- point you in the right direction of someone who can remove it for you. So that's not really an issue. But clearly, obviously, it's been stolen, hence the vandalism. Now, vandalism could normally mean the ignition system. So, anyway, so we've had a look at the car. And apart from uh, the tow hook cover missing, um, that might might be a scratch there, possibly, on the, uh, on the arch. Inside, it's all been cleaned up. Uh, we've got one remote key. I suspect they've mm, possibly taken some fuel out because uh, the rear seat, for some reason, is not clipped in, which seems a bit weird. So they may have gone in through the fuel tank. But anyway, we're not going to judge. Um, original battery... 
Uh, cam belt's been done because you can see some marks on there, so that's good. Digital dash with barely any fuel in it, 46,000 miles, so that's quite nice. However, obviously, the battery has at some point <coughs> um, become flat because the uh, figures have been reset, so it's been jump started because uh, it's two minutes past midnight, but anyway. Um, then we've got some small little what looks to be flakes um, here, but we don't have to worry too much about those. Unfortunately, nothing around the ignition, but given it says it's a run and drive, and it shows here that um, the revs are up, that to me indicates that there's potentially, potentially nothing wrong with the ignition uh maybe at worst the 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 barrel's missing but like the R bath we potentially can just replace that so i'm going to look to try and bid on this one uh there's nothing in the inf in in here uh it's oh it says can't open boot i don't know if that is the handle or whether that's the internal mechanism but that's what it says anyway uh, it is an insurance job so it's obviously been recovered now, uh, two things for this one is the MOT is pretty good. I think it is due an MOT, but uh, the MOT was clear last time. Uh, slightly concerned that the seller's got a reserve on it, so it's not a pure sale, which might hamper the how much they actually want for it. Uh so, but yeah, so 1,100. So I'll be really, I'll be quite, on a cat end, I'll be quite happy to go up um, a good amount on that one. So we'll see how we go on that. Uh, auction runs tomorrow, but I thought I'd do the video now um, just because I might not get around to doing it tomorrow. So this is going to be in Chester. So we're going to try and go for that and we'll see how we get on. Right. So it's up next. It's currently at fourteen fifty. Um, so it's not near the reserve. Sold. So let's see how fast and furious this gets. Low mileage. Was it fifteen hundred in the lane? New bidder. Low mileage. Are we up against many people? That's the question. 1550, it's not too bad. Couple of bids. Approaching wow. 1900 bid. straight in, wow. Low mileage. Uh, no, this isn't going to work because with fees and Pure travel sale. expenses, Pure sale. Low mileage. that is going to put me in excess of five two seven something like that two seven two eight that's that's just too much money really um, if I'm being honest I was hoping again for something a tiny bit cheaper so a few monster bids on that one unfortunately so not today back to the drawing board again Now I had to film this at work. This is a 2012 pop with driver's side damage. And uh, it was through ASM, not Copart. Um, this is five minutes worth of footage that's been massively condensed just because of the nature of how you bid on these cars. Um, and we started off relatively cheap, started to go up in price. And I was like, oh, here we go again. Um, and then it started to slow down and it was pretty much me bidding against one other person. And um, yeah, so it's a 2012 pop. It's got about 64,000 miles on the clock with some very minor cat end damage. And in the end, I won this for 1,160, including fees, which are a couple of hundred pound. Um, yeah, I ended up winning it. So now the auction has finished and we did win the car. 
um, because I didn't show you guys before the auction started I thought we'd just run through the car now so um, it's at ASM in Oxford and it's as I say in the description here uh, offside front corner damage previous cat in various age related dents and scratches um starts drives got the keys no service history and everything else is there 64000 miles and this well, these are the pictures so we've got what appears to be the driver side wing and the bumpers popped out here and from this picture, that's uh, the only thing. It doesn't appear to be any damage to the door. And it appears that this wheel is uh, in line as well. So, uh, from this side, appears maybe a slight dink to the sill. Very slight one. Got the door handles. Uh, so that's all good but from this side again it seems all good from the rear quarter again white's problematic it doesn't really show you dinks that's that's the only issue but from this side as well it seems all right then from the other side this looks completely normal like it's not been in a car accident at all the sill seems okay to me. I did think that looked like um, the wing mirror covers looked like they've been upgraded. I think that's just where the car's wet and it's given that a sheen, but it's the normal pop uh, wing mirrors. But it's got its hubcaps all round as well, so that's good. So it can't have been that much of a ding to the side. Otherwise, that would have lost a hubcap. Uh, and from this side as well, it seems to all be pretty good too. Uh, no accident damage to the rear. So, yeah. Inside was hoping it might be a pop with a few added extras unfortunately not so it's not got bluetooth and it has not got air conditioning it is your bog standard pop so but we can work on that we can sort out the bluetooth side of things with a little bluetooth adapter which will connect to the radio uh, can't do anything about the aircon which uh, right now would be quite handy i'm sure but by the time we sell it it will be a lot uh, cooler hopefully uh, it's the dark interior so it's not got the red uh, seats so that should help with the sale as well um, so yeah uh, what else have we got as you can see it's yeah it's the darker trim there mats don't appear to be any official mats with that uh, and it's a remote key as well. So there's the panel there. It's got a stop start. Um, so yeah, and then uh, the dash. So we've got a warning light, which I suspect would hopefully just be a bulb out somewhere. Quarter of a tank of fuel, which is good. And that's it for that. 64,000 miles on the clock. Engine bay. Um, Newish battery. So that's good. And unfortunately, we can't tell from here if whether it's had a cam belt change. And then the rear seats don't really look like they've been used. Which is good. So that's the car. So at the moment, I'm thinking 
new driver's wing, which I've got. And, oh, yeah, I would probably tell you that, that about the MOT. So, yeah, so at the moment, new driver's wing. Now, MOT from October last year passed on 58,000. So it's only done like another 6,000 miles more. Rear subframe corroded. I mean, a lot of Fiat 500 seem to have that little problem. But on a 2012, I didn't quite expect that. Um, rear shock absorber is slightly worn bush. I'll probably replace both the rear shocks. And uh, offside front suspension arm or bush, but not resulting in excess movement. So potentially we need to replace um, the uh, one of those suspension arms, if not both of them. So yeah. So... New shocks, new wing, and that might do for now. So yeah, that's it. Um, that will be arriving at some point uh, within the week. Just got to get the shipping quote done from Oxford, which is not that far away to be honest, and it should be relatively cheap. I um, appreciate fuels going up, but... We'll see how we get on there. So, yeah, so look out for this car coming to my channel uh, shortly. Until next time, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see uh, what happens when this turns up. And also the like button as well. Uh, any comments that you've got on the car, um, please do let me know uh, in the comments below. And I'll see you all again very, very soon and hopefully next week.